Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to look how we can integrate a Spring Boot with Swagger that is the one of the uh, docu document generation tool uh, for the RESTful web services. So in this video tutorial, we will create a project and there we will uh, create a one RESTful API, a very simple API which will return a string uh, uh, to the caller right to the consumer and uh, we'll see how uh, swagger is going to uh, maintain i mean documentation for that uh, web service restful web service so here is the eclipse and in this eclipse i have installed uh, uh, sts so directly from eclipse we can create a spring starter project so let's select the, this option and i will say a spring Port Swagger uh, app, right? A uh, package name I'm going to group as well as package name I'm going to keep as it is com dot info take dot swagger. Now click on the next, and here I'm going to select web module, and that's it. Let's click on the, the next, and finally click on the finish. So now project is going to create in our Eclipse and here is the project in form.xml. Uh, I'm going to add some more dependency for Swagger. So as we discussed in the previous video tutorial, we require these two dependency to be added in our form.xml so that we can integrate um, a Spring Boot with Swagger. All right. So these two dependency will have to add and. Uh, here in this project directory itself, I am going to create a file. I will say swagger UI. And here I am going to paste these two links, which is basically uh, swagger UI link. And uh, here we have a, a Spring Boot starter project. A Spring Boot starter class. Now I'm going to create a uh, one RESTful API. I'd say hello world. Sorry, hello world controller. And this class I'm going to annotate as at rate rest controller. Now, in this class, I'm going to, as I told you, I'm going to add a very simple uh, RESTful API, which will basically return a simple string message. I would say hello, and this is going to return a string. Sorry. Welcome to RESTful world. This is the simple message this RESTful API is going to return. I would say request mapping and URI am going to specify as slash hello. So <clears throat> now so uh, guys let me create a different package for this controller so i would say controller package and here i'm going to dump this controller package in this package which just we have created so now our controller in this package now i'm going to create a one configuration class for swagger so i would say swagger config and package i'm going to specify as config so this is our swagger config class no let's i have already created code for this class so just i have pasted over here and this is pretty straightforward which we had discussed in our previous 
the video tutorial so here we are enabling swagger by annotating this class as at rate enable swagger and this is a configuration class which uh, there we have uh, register one bean so that's what uh, we have also annotated this class as at rate configuration and here we have created a bean that is called docket and we create an instance of docket and there we are saying we are using swagger2 we call the select method and here we are telling what we actually swagger basically we want to apply for the classes which is uh, available in this package basically the uh, our restful web service controller we have kept in this uh, package and we are calling a uh, paths method and saying that we are applying the regular expression right method uh, i mean in this package whatever controller is there and there may be a lot of request handler method and all request handler method method which is having the pattern you are pattern as slash hello after that we don't care whatever is there so we want to apply swagger for all these type of api and finally we call the build method because this follows the builder design, design pattern and that returns docket object <coughs> sorry guys so that's all about this uh, uh, configuration class now swagger is uh, set now if i run this application then see how swagger works first of all we would like to access our restful api this api uh, from our browser itself so now tomcat is running on the port 8080 that's the default port and here if you go and type http colon slash slash localhost 8080 slash hello and here we should be able to access our restful api and here we got the output right welcome to restful world now this api is working perfectly fine now in swagger ui i have a two ui so here when you invoke slash v2 slash uh, api doc and if you uh, try to access this api then this is going to return you one big json which contains the swagger related api related uh, information right so that's information basically returns us in the uh, json format if you go to the google and try to json sorry json formatter and you can go to this website and here paste this json and you click on the format then this is the json basically returned by this swagger api but that is in uh, json format they have given the all information what the version of swagger description uh, was, and here if you come down then they have given the paths of our api all right description about the api and all and here if you come down what kind of data is going to be consumed what kind of http uh, uh, code is going to return everything they have given but uh, we would not want response in this uh, json format right instead we want to access uh, swagger ui and this will give you the clear visuality so if you access uh, this ui then this is basically swagger ui and here you have a hello world controller right if you click over here then here you can see all http method but our restful api basically uh, is, is designed for the get method if you click on the get then you can see everything there see the nice documentation response class, status post 200 this return the as a string and uh, i mean response message like 401 for unauthorized 403 for forbidden 404 for not found and if you click on try it out then you can see uh, this also provides you a curl url so using this curl url you can make call to the your api as well so if you open uh, command prompt and already we have installed curl right in previous video tutorial if i press enter then this is going to return you an error saying that http not supported so basically when you uh, invoke uh, your api using curl then you will have to specify on windows in the uh, double quotes 
and once you press enter then at this time you will get the response saying that welcome to the restful world that means we are successfully invoking restful web service using curl command right so this is for the get method similarly you can invoke uh, 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 i mean any kind of post put or delete method uh, from the curl command as well and see they, they have given the beautiful document as a request url complete url now what kind of header acceptance that is i mean response body what kind of response is coming in the body section response code 200 and saying that response headers so in response header i mean our server is ret returning the date today's date content length so that is 26 this is the length of this string including the spaces now content type what kind of content is ret uh, uh, going to return from the server etc so this is the nice documentation right so in this video we have seen a simple example uh, right uh, we have written a simple one restful api and there you have seen uh, how swagger documentation is supporting right so while looking into this uh, documentation uh, consumer can easily uh, judge i mean what is the uh, url of services what kind of input has to provide and all so here this service does not take any kind of input but in next video tutorial we'll see some complex uh, api will write some complex api which will accept some kind of input and that will return a uh, response in the json format and we'll see uh, basically swagger uh, provides a lot of uh, annotations and that annotations you can apply in your restful controller as well as some mode if you have some kind of model class uh, there also you can specify some you can uh, use uh, those annotations to uh, provide i mean uh, documentation restful documentation in some more inform inform informative fashion so that's all i have to convey in this video tutorial so thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed learning this video if you really enjoyed then please uh, click on the subscribe button and uh, if you really like then uh, recommend your, your friends to subscribe my youtube channel as well so thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial